welcome back um, sorry about that I was not aware that the 15 minutes were already over I was obviously talking way too much but lay, let's go back to work so I was showing you that we can use proportional sizing by holding down alt and shift and going around the center point to if you move the center point for example up here it moves around that sometimes I use that when I cover one picture with another and have to align faces then I use it in the eye here or on the nose or something but now we use it in the middle so I'll use um, help you to keep the proportion of the image as you can see here otherwise when I don't hold it I can use it around here and it stretches really awfully and we don't want that so now I'm holding Alt and Shift and I'm trying to eyeball the size of the head that we need this is good this should be okay there's a trick that someone posted somewhere that the distance between the forehead and the chin should be the same between the chin and the chest area so the middle of the chest um, I usually use a stick on my fingers or eyeball it so holding my fingers right now what you can't see between the forehead and the chin the chin and the chest and that should work just fine let's move it a bit up to the side here to see it cuts off the head so we will have to move this down a little which isn't that big of a problem the head seems a little bit too big right now so I'm testing every now and then so as you can see the collar doesn't fit here that is another nifty tool that I use all the time to go on the uniform picture edit and puppet warp with puppet warp you can move around parts and stretch them and fit them to certain shapes and everything to make sure that not the whole uniform moves around I'm just clicking here to set some anchor points these anchor points mean that as long as you leave them alone they don't move they fix the uniform there and that will help you to move around stuff so now I'm going to this point here move it a little bit to fit to the neck and a little here as well as you see the rest of the uniform didn't move at all once you're done it can be excessive if you have like for example a Kaisian the neck would be really wide because it is a big cat you know <laughs> But uh, for humans, usually, uh, usually it's just a little bit. Then press this here, and you see that works. For everything else, like shadows, background, adjusting the color to the background, or from the face to the uniform, and so on, we will go through that in the next tutorial that will hopefully come soon. And I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. If you have any questions, as always, just post them in the comments and I will try to answer them next time or I will just comment on your comment. <laughs> so thank you for logging in and I will see you next time. Stay creative, have a great day, bye bye.